Hey, Blockheads, this is DJ AK, the Amanda Knight, and I'm here to let you know that my so-called whatever podcast and No More Games Radio have joined forces. Listen to No More Games Radio on Sundays at 2 p.m. for your favorite episodes of my so-called whatever podcast and maybe a live episode. Who knows? Tune in to my so-called whatever podcast for upcoming No More Games radio features and exclusive stories from our staff and DJs. And as always, follow us on social media at No More Games Radio and at my so-called whatever. Hang tough! Friends forever, that's what we are. Through the thick and the thin, we're friendship stars. We're banger main buddies from the days of old. We laugh, cry, and hug, friendship solid as gold. My soul could whatever started a year ago. We share our stories, and your stories were told. 80s, 90s memories that give us glee. And on the block party shows, and KOTB. Now our friendship circle has grown by far. Hashtag friends forever, that's what we all are. Boom! And if you don't know, now you know. My soul called whatever for life. Hashtag MSCW Hashtag Friends Forever Yeah Uh, 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 uh Yeah Hey guys, it's Nikki I uh, just want to let you know that This is totally my fault But I had some issues with editing And we originally had thought That we were going to be able to get this episode out A couple weeks ago So we were all excited that we were You know back on track but alas we were not or I was not so I uh, just wanted to add that to the beginning uh, but we are so excited to be recording again and now Brooke is back from vacation so we should be recording again soon and hopefully we will get a block party episode to you soon we told you we'd be right back and look and at we, us, Brooke. And we are. Look, look at us. Look at us. I'm patting us on the back right I now. I am so proud of us right now. I am so proud of us. It's like when I say I'm going to exercise. Yeah. And I do it one day and then I do it the next. Yeah. yeah. That's look exactly what it's like. I'm, look at me. I'm going to be skinny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. I know the oh, feeling. Shit. I know. <laughs> that's how i feel right now yeah no but but for real we're, this is this is this is the norm this is the new norm and i will tell you this did not this didn't was not an easy like sesh like recording sesh no it because... wasn't also i'm gonna be on vacation soon so oh, you are oh that's right you're going that's right yeah. i forgot about that we were supposed to go <laughs> right so and so much for so much for that so we might have a, a, another week or so yes, off, yes. but but anyway, yes. it's fine. Yeah, um, we mean I, well. Yeah, <laughs> I think we should get right into it because we have a lot of talking to do. We do. Yeah, we do. But it's also it's like ten thirty at night on a Friday, right? So we're going. We're not going to like this. Isn't going to be like the last episode where right. it was like all over the place. We had a lot to catch up on. Right. We we caught up. You guys are fully caught up with us and yep. yeah so right. we should intro yeah let's do that okay we're let's intro and then we're gonna get right into this we are so this is brooke and this is nikki and this is my so-called whatever hey welcome guys this is not a block party we're no. due for a block party but that'll be next episode that will and it trust me it's so gonna we'll, be a banger it's gonna yes you're gonna be like yes Bangers. Um, <laughs> that's a great font. <laughs> so, um, we no, oh, we get an intro. We did intro. This oh, we did. Brooke, this is Nikki. This is what my is wrong whatever. with me? Holy cow, you guys! Seriously, this has been happening a lot to me lately. It's like kind of concerning. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. So, all right. It is ten thirty though. So. It is 10.30. It's a Friday night. I actually work tomorrow, which like, womp womp. But it's fine. Um, so, is a championship football game. Oh, where is it? It's at Hamden. Oh, okay. That's it's cool. It's at 11 a.m. All right. Hey. They're going to win. I awesome. feel it. 
Like I feel it. This is like I Eastern Maine. Like, well, it's not really Eastern Maine because they don't bones. call that anymore. It's like what do they call it? Something north. Oh yeah, I don't think they have Eastern Maine anymore. That makes me sad. Isn't it weird? Yeah, we were always Eastern Maine. Like right. I don't think that's Kevin. Is there Eastern Maine anymore? Like, do they call it? It's it's north south, not east west, which makes a lot more sense. If you think about it, it does make a lot more <laughs> sense. But at the same time, I don't love that. No, because it's all gone. It's like there's no right. Eastern Maine championship. Like, you know, because we were the East. Right. Okay. So, well, yeah, we're going to get into high school stuff because Brooke, mm. take it away. So, okay. A few weeks ago, um, we were contacted uh, to uh, in regards to a documentary Right, which we get. We get them often. We'll, yeah. You know, every so often we'll get people that contact us to like listen to, read a book or watch a movie or, you know. Right. Yeah. And this one really caught us. Yeah. Yeah. This one really caught us by the balls. Not that the other ones didn't, but we were no, just no, like, no, no, no. But you, just you'll the, understand. Yeah. Because yeah. this is honestly, it's like if there was a documentary film made for us to talk about. Like it would be this one. Um, so it's it was eerie. It kind of was eerie. It was like, eerie. So I feel like we could have been really good friends. One hundred percent. Yeah. One hundred percent. Okay. Um. So we were contacted. Um. Anyway, so it is a documentary film. Um, that actually came out last week. Right. It was released November 8th on HBO, and you can currently stream it on HBO Max. Excuse me. You can currently stream it on Max. Max. It's it's Max now. It's It confuses me. I'm like... I, I think mother. it's just because there's like so many other things. So there it's are like, so many just like, things. Let's just call it Max. Is it Cinemax as well, though? That's what I'd like to know. I don't think it is. Is Cinemax even around anymore? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> are we, is that... Are we telling our age? I, it, I mean, you know what? Anybody that's listening to this is like, I don't know. Is there still? Yeah, a, right. A is it? But is it? It's not around anymore, right? Cinemax. I haven't had cable in so know. long, so I have no idea. Well, I, I don't. I haven't either. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. Um, that's where that's where you can find it. It is called "You Were My First Boyfriend," mm-hmm. and it is from a. Uh, it's directed by. And starring uh, Cecilia Alderondo, um, also directed by Sarah Enid Hagee. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, it is. What's the word I'm looking for? We should just read the little thing that they sent us. Yeah. Yeah. Look, yeah. Read that. Read that. Okay. I'm going to read it because then honestly, it just summarizes it so beautifully and then we can just talk about our takeaways right because we really think that you should watch it yeah we're not going to do a play-by-play because you guys should like literally sit you know how we usually do play-by-play i don't think we need to do that because you guys it's a it's it's a wonderful watch you know like sit down watch it i feel like everyone can relate to it especially around our age agreed yeah agreed um so basically what she had written um, about this or the synopsis of it is it's a high school reunion movie turned inside out. Yeah. Um, filmmaker Cecilia Alderondo embarks on a fantastical quest to reconcile her tortured teen years. Yeah. She goes back in more ways than one, tracking down old foes and friends while also reenacting visceral memories of youthful humiliation and desire. Oh. Oscillating between present and past hallucination and reality, You Are My First Boyfriend is a hybrid documentary that explores the power of adolescent fantasy, the subtle violence of cultural assimilation, and the fun house mirror of time's passage. Perhaps we will all learn something about growing older and making peace with what haunts us. I'm going to tell you right now, like this movie brought memories up, but like in a good way um not so great memories but in a good way because it helped me understand some things so yeah you know and it was 
I was not expecting that. Honestly, I was expected that I was going to be disturbed <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. um, because I thought it was going to go into something very similar to what I had gone through with my first boyfriend, but it wasn't. And I was, I was relieved. <laughs> yeah. The I was pleasantly relieved. The, the title, um, you were my first boyfriend. It, yeah. it, it isn't like a literal yeah, you'll you'll about we'll get, the first we'll get boyfriend. There. We'll get there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I know what you mean because I didn't feel that way. But Nikki, I know you very well. Yeah, that was and my I first, and I felt like you may have been anxious about potentially being triggered by you know what something. That's, yeah, that's what I was gonna say, but I didn't want to come off as like too dramatic. But I honestly no, 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 felt no. like I was gonna be triggered, and I was really worried about that. Yeah, and. So I'm glad, like, just, I am I watched it first, yes. and I'm glad I did watch it first. Yes, I'm glad you did, too. So I could urge you to, that it's, that it's okay. That was okay, yeah. <laughs> you as know? soon as you said, it's okay, like, you can watch it, you'll be fine. Yeah. It's, it's sad, it, but. Yeah. It is sad. It, it It's is. very sad in parts. Yeah. Yes. Um, but it tells a story that I think a lot of us can relate to. Absolutely. And it um you know kind of helps to reconcile your mind yeah i mean with you know your like past. right like shadow work is the new thing right like you've seen those like shadow work journals they're on no. tiktok yeah i got one you, you it, totally well, should i don't understand what that is it's shadow kind work. of like going and figuring out why you react the way you do to certain things like why you it's 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 literally what she was doing through this movie like going through the motions of different things and finding out it's hard to explain but like that i and i'm not finished the shadow work journal that i've been doing because literally it like it's I need to take an evening where I'm like okay mentally to do it um that's just me though I don't I don't think that has to do with everybody um but anyway I'm getting off topic it's okay um I'm gonna look into that because it sounds interesting I'm gonna send it to you it was like a viral TikTok thing for a while like it's all that I kept seeing and I only paid like ten dollars for it so I'm like what's the big deal I get it I'm out ten bucks exactly like, it's so, a small investment for something that could be really cool and it really is so i mean what she is doing is she is literally reenacting mm. like some very traumatic events yeah and i just i loved the way that these things were reenacted because it's a documentary but there's the reenactments were amazing to see like the behind the scenes yeah and how she would like especially the kissing scene yes (laughs) (laughs) that was and when you guys watch it you'll know if you know you know like right right it was just hilarious and that actor oh my gosh he's great like that was he was great yes yeah he he really was you could tell like he was he was good yes but it was really neat because i'll tell you so we should say these reenactments um she's reenacting things that actually happened yeah in her adolescence um she is playing the part of herself right and she has basically young people yeah around the age that that she was at the time playing the characters if you will the people um in her life right and i am gonna ask you to do one thing me for the end okay yes after we're done talking i want you to think about like one or two things that if this were you doing this documentary Mm -hmm. what would your reenactments be you don't have to use names, but I think it would be a very good thing. And they can be happy. They don't have to be traumatic because she has a lot of happy stuff too. A lot of really cool, happy. I mean, it, it just, I felt like I knew her. 
it was weird. I was like, oh, oh. That's my and I think Cecilia. it's because CC, right? Wait, no, they called it right. They, they so her it. name is Cecilia, Cecilia, but I think that she, they called uh, like her probably friends and close friends and family called her CC. Yeah, yeah. Um, because we're close friends now, so <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like, um. I could see so much of my own experience and hers. Yeah. And yeah. it felt, it felt very close. Right. Um, but at the same time, very different, you know? Right. I know exactly what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. And, and you when guys, you guys watch it, you'll, you'll know. understand because we, we want you guys like same thing. Okay. Watch this film. Okay. Watch the film. And then send us a story if you want to. It might be too personal. Or like tweet us or whatever and tell us like what moments you feel would be represented in your life if if you did a similar documentary. Yes. Like what things you would do. Yes. That, that and, and would we could be do a whole episode cool. on that. Absolutely. That would be amazing. So just do that. Just do that for us. Do it for Please. us. Please. <laughs> yes. Um but like I was telling Nikki earlier before we started recording, <clears throat> I, I said, is no one's experience unique? Like, right. It just felt it felt like this could be, you know, high school, any town, USA. Right. Because it 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 felt so much like our school. And I know that it's going to be like others. And hers was a private Catholic school. Right. And we went, we went to went a public, to public school. school, a big public school. I mean, her school seemed pretty big too, but. But it I just, know. It, you know, you have your, your, you know, cast of characters. They're you, real people. You know, the types, but yeah. yeah. And, and that's everywhere. Um, right. So I really, I could see myself in her. I could also see myself in other people. Yes in the film yes. too um i have yeah oh gosh can we I just can we just talk about joel please yes, can we we'll, talk about joel so yeah because nikki you and i both <laughs> i related to this so hard it was Same. so and i was cringing the entire time not like for her experience but thinking oh my god because you guys this woman is just is amazing yeah <laughs> because she literally i hate using the word literally but i'm doing it um she <laughs> i can't even say it she like reenacted these scenes of like things that she was like thinking about her crush, like talking about her crush. Like I, I couldn't, I could never, I could never, I, I mean, I guess I could, but then she like face to face, talk to him. Right. Like she read him a poem that amazing. she wrote about him. Yes. I couldn't do that. I couldn't. Could you imagine me singing no. the song? Could you? No. Brooke. No. Brooke. <laughs> I made a song about yeah. a certain someone. I used to make up songs all the time. Um, like parodies of songs. But like I make them about people. I got right. your picture on the wall. Oh my God. Because you're the greatest one of all. <laughs> and when they say your name. And they know you're. We're not saying the name. We're not nope. saying the name. Nope. No, because you could probably go find them on Facebook or something. Oh, for sure. Oh, for Do sure. Do you remember the time? That you Remember gave the, him a ride? <laughs> yes. And I, I didn't ask where he lived. I already knew. And I just drove to his house. Wait, 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 I, what, wait, wait a second. I did not know that part. Yeah. So wait, he got in your car yeah. and then you just took him home? Yeah. You didn't ask him where he lived? No. Oh my God. I know. Oh my God. I know. That's awesome though. That's so embarrassing. Oh, God. Luckily, he had had some drinks. Oh, th yes, thankfully. But, and we were also <laughs> older, weren't we? No, I mean, I was still in high school. Oh, you were? But he was a few years older than us. Okay. 
So, like, he was out of high school. Like, and because I was driving. So, that's right. he would have been out of high school. That's right. Um, yeah. So, he got in my mom's Mercury Sable. Sable. The blue car. And, uh, yeah, I just drove him right over to Essex Street. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Oh, that's embarrassing. But I would, yeah, maybe I'd reenact that. Oh, no. that would, yes. Absolutely. That would be a good one to reenact. But that would um, be like a small one. That would be like a small one. That would one. be a small one. Yeah. But, you know, we, Nikki and I, oh, we all have crushes. We all had crushes. Mark and I went hard, though. But we went, we went really freaking hard. hard really hard so and i i say all the time like i really wish i would have met kevin I, like i say this all the time i really wish i would have met him i wish i would have met him i like sometimes you guys you're gonna think i'm up and crazy but i sometimes think like what would it be like i envision like what would it have been like like if kevin and i met in high school like how different would my life be here's the thing he would have run he would have ran like, i was he just gone gonna say that because he i'm so not, glad you didn't oh my god oh. Because he, and he said this before, like, like if I was like overly, which I was like, I was a lot to take in. I was a lot to take in. And he's even said like, cause he like, cause Brody's, you know, Brody has a girlfriend and he's doing so well. He's and Kevin's like, I wouldn't have done that. Well, like, dude, I wouldn't even know what to do. Like, (laughs) he's so cute. Um, but yeah, like we we went hard. We were like yeah, we all did. in when yeah, we had a crush, yeah. and it wasn't like an obsession. I would not call it an obsession. There's there's a big difference. Yeah, it was just a mega crush, like a mega crush, and like it would last all year. Like it was. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I will say that her crush on Joel lasted middle school through high school that's right i forgot about that yes but ours would last like a season like a year yes but we but sometimes it carried over oh there was one for me that lasted (laughs) wow (laughs) (laughs) it's like that girl (laughs) the the vine (laughs) walk away (laughs) (laughs) but yes no that's what you sounded like oh god Um, so that's embarrassing that would definitely that whole thing except here's the thing i can tell you right now i could not sit across from him i could never i couldn't do it would no i wish that you would i could never do that i would i'm sweating right now thinking about it like oh my god because this guy like i've still interacted with him Yes. I interacted with him on numerous occasions. Yes. He, I swear that was like, he is popping God out of your life. Going, this is going to be super funny. Let's do this. Yeah. I'm going to do this. I'm going to, this is what I'm going to do. Nikki's going to have a baby and she's going to be in the NICU. She's going to be trying to breastfeed and I'm going to put him right there because <laughs> that's what he did. <laughs> and I thought I was hallucinating. I told Kevin the meds, <laughs> the meds are pretty hardcore because <laughs> I see blank over there in the corner. And Kevin's like, that's because he is there. <laughs> that is because that is him. Oh, because his God. wife also had a baby. And then I had Brody and he was like, oh, long time. No, see. So we had that was not planned. And like, for me, that was like. The the like traumatic part is like people said I was like a stalker and like guys I was in seventh grade right you were a little girl he, he let's was put that out school. there he was he was quite a bit older he was a senior in high school and I was in seventh grade right and he lived in my neighborhood right. like so you know, yeah like in the film when she references like she felt like she was hanging out with movie stars yes that was like what he was mm- for sure like but that's like that's what they treated those people like like royalty yes. like they were like movie stars they were like joey mcintyre it was exactly like joey mcintyre yes I, it was I, I never thought i had a chance come on now 
I never, there was never one point in my mind that I thought, mm, maybe I'll marry this person. Never. I was just like, oh, he's just so dreamy. So <laughs> it's funny that you say that. It's so funny because I want to just, okay. I don't know if this is getting us off track or not, and but no, it's completely on track. You know how we but are. You know how part we of be. the film. There's a, there's a part of the film. Actually, there might be a couple of parts where she talks about like when she would like go to bed at night and she'd close her eyes mm -hmm. and she would like put herself in these situations where she's with these men and they're famous. Oh, oh I, I would. I would do that, but not with I would him. do that too. Not with him, because it was different. It was different. But I would do what I would do exactly what she was talking about. Like she so she would watch movies like period pieces. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so they were the characters from these films that I was not familiar with these characters. I would put my like I would go to bed at night, close my eyes. And I would be dating Zach Morris. Are you serious? Yeah. I don't think I ever did that. I did that. And I, I would have hair like DJ Tanner. I kind of did that with Joey McIntyre. Yeah. Like, yeah. I did that with I, Joey McIntyre. Yeah. I 100% did this. Yeah. And, and like the most random, <laughs> like Bud Bundy, mm -hmm. David Faustino. Mm -hmm. I was, I loved him so much. Yes, you did. And I would go to bed at night and I would close my eyes and I would basically tell myself stories. Oh, Bud Bundy. I would my play first kiss. like I would play a movie in my head that like he was my boyfriend and mm -hmm. I had amazing hair. I always had DJ Tanner hair. I love that. I absolutely love that. Sometimes I had Alyssa Milano hair. Ooh. But like usually it was DJ Tanner. Hair. DJ Tanner had the best hair. <clears throat> let's like let's be frank here. Let's right. tell it let's like it real. is. For real, um, for real. So <laughs> friend, she's like, what the <laughs> hell are you doing? <laughs> why why are you talking like that? But <laughs> so you know when she talked about that, I was like, oh my god, same, mm -hmm. same. Mm -hmm. Yep. I did that. And I know other people did too. I know some people didn't because I've talked to people about this in my life and they're like, mm, I thought I, didn't, I didn't, but like I did a lot. I would have like, especially Joey McIntyre. And I can remember it right now because I'd be, he'd be like having Christmas with my family. I, for me, it was, we yeah. were always at school. Oh, really? It was almost always at school or like a school dance. Oh, the school dance part. Oh yeah. Like, that's i did that a lot i that's that's literally how i put myself to sleep mm -hmm. for a long time i still do is that weird you you dream about christmas <laughs> with your family with joy mcintyre no. <laughs> no but i like makeup scenarios like i make, I up, make up scenarios but they're I more adult scenarios, scenarios like now. fun scenarios like i try to remember things because i've been having like a hard time with my memory lately so i like try to remember like really good things that happened to me and mm -hmm. i try to remember every single detail but then like i'll insert something i'll be like oh that would have been cool if that was the case yeah like yeah like but how things but other people been. don't do that like kevin doesn't do that. do that i've asked him about it like he's like uh no i just go to sleep yeah <laughs> yeah i definitely Brent, do, do you that. do that do you do that do you like make up scenarios in your head and like she doesn't really have any famous crushes except for matthew lillard can i say that stop <laughs> <laughs> Matthew loves Lillard. Matt. She loves Matthew Lillard. I do too. He seems like such a nice man. <laughs> Brooke said he seems like such a nice man. Can you hear her? Not really. Oh, you got to come up here and talk into the microphone. Don't say that. <laughs> what did she say? She said, I want to call him a Delf, but I won't say that. <laughs> she is 18, so. I can say it. So she no, can don't, say don't Dill. Say <laughs> going to, Go ahead. What? Go that, ahead. That he, that I, that he, You're talking the microphone. I don't remember what I said. Talk, talk about Matthew Lillard. Why do you like Matthew Lillard? Because he's a good guy and he's also just like, he aged really well. He was also hot as a teenager, but like. He aged really well. Can you hear her? Yeah. Okay. 
Also, I know that he's older than my parents. I don't really care. <laughs> God bless her. God bless her. <laughs> What'd you say? Oh, and as and Zeke Skeet. Why did I say Zeke? Oh, Skeet. Skeet Ulrich. Yeah, she really likes him too. Same. So, you know, she loves Scream. I'm going to go with her to see the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Oh, that's fun. So, like, do you, my question was, Bryn, do you, like, make up scenarios in your head about Matthew Lillard? Okay, no, she said. She does about, like, like other people. Not real people? What people, then? Cartoons? It's She makes up fake people. Oh. Like, like fake people... people? No, no, no. Like, you know, it's like anime people. <laughs> no, like no, fake like, people, like, like her future like, children, like her future, like, like partner. She she makes them up in her head. Yeah. Does she take features from like other people? Do to you make take features from like other people to make like the perfect person? To make like the perfect person. No, not physical features necessarily. So anyway, that's interesting. It. Yeah, I used to do that as well. I did not do that. I would imagine, like, what my boyfriend was going to look like, because I couldn't. Like, I was striking out hard. Middle school was hard, guys. Middle school striking out. Middle school was hard. High school was hard. Yeah, both of them were hard. <laughs> so yeah, I would do that. Um. So I thought that okay. was really interesting. My little angel's kiss is showing up. I have I had it just I like it. Brendan Brody just did. It. Yep. I was just yeah. gonna say. Um so I thought that was really interesting and mm. I really I was like, yes, yes. hmm mm-hmm. Cecilia, you and I are the same. We're the same. We are on the yep. same page. Yes, same, same. Um you know, one thing I couldn't relate to, mm-hmm. obviously is um we should we should also mention she went to a high school reunion at the start of this yeah like it kind of all started with her going to this high school reunion and i couldn't really relate to that because i don't think i have healed enough as a person to go to my high school reunion i have i've never been to a high school reunion i don't really have a reason why i just haven't and like i'm fine with it you know I just don't feel like I feel like I would have to put on a front like I couldn't be me and yeah. you if if you go if in the future you go you want to I get what you're saying you want to go when you can be your authentic self that's right and I think for a very long time I haven't been comfortable not only in my own body but in my own like self does that make mm-hmm. sense? Mm-hmm. And so, like, I feel like I'm getting there, but I think th- just if you if you don't if you don't love yourself, you're gonna have a hard time in life. You are. I'm just I'm putting it out there. Yeah. You are. Yeah. You're gonna have a hard time. And I just, it's not that I don't want to see. <sighs> And it's and I because I'm afraid like somebody's gonna listen to it. They're not, but it's not that I don't want to see you. But it's like we don't talk anyway, right? So like we haven't kept in touch. Yep. Like it's numerous things. It's numerous things, and so that's why I haven't gone. But I'm glad that she was able to go, and I'm glad that it was healing for her. Yeah, I mean, she was able to connect with some people. I, you know, I'm sure some interactions are better than others, <laughs> right? <laughs> but that's life, and that's people. Like that's just people, regardless of whether you went to high school with them or you used to work with them or you work with them now. Right. Like I was like, whatever. call them out, call them out. I wanted her. I wanted the camera to pan and be like, "Who's the mean girls?" Yeah, <laughs> that's what I wanted. I, but, but you know what? You're she's too good of a person to do that. So I just think like it it wasn't about those people, it was about her. Right. You're right. Right. So um um 
but so she went to the reunion um yeah. and that was at the start we probably should have mentioned that first but it doesn't matter we're not doing yeah. a rundown we're just right. kind of talking we're about kind of going the thing, right the um film so i'm just gonna mention um kind of a key role mm-hmm. is her relationship with caroline that's right yes i had a caroline you did i did i did oh uh you did yes and like i'm like i like it this really bothered me a lot Mm -hmm. um and i've now watched this this film twice and at both both times after i've thought i need to reach out to this person i think you should i need to reach out to this person and i and i don't and i don't know why i don't know why and i should because i was not fair to her i just wasn't she was a good friend she was a very good friend and i just she was a good person Mm-hmm. And we were so close. Like I could cry thinking about it. We were so close. We, I spent so much time at her house. She spent so much time at my house. Like summers when we were young, like elementary school. Mm-hmm. But like summers were spent in her yard mm-hmm. or in my room mm-hmm. or riding bikes around the neighborhood doing stupid things listening to the bangles Mm -hmm. like listening to new kids Mm -hmm. and playing with barbies because i loved barbies and she wasn't really into it but she would play with them with me because i love them she's a good friend right and we would like collect stickers and like we did so much together and then middle school happened Mm -hmm. actually fifth grade happened Mm -hmm. and i specifically remember she was in a different class and she her teacher sent her down to deliver something to my teacher Mm -hmm. and somebody when she came in one of the girls in my class who was my friend Mm -hmm. nudged me and said oh there's your friend they were my new friends Mm -hmm. and it wasn't cool to be friends with this person i don't want to use their name i don't want to use a name so I didn't say anything. I didn't stick up for her. Mm-hmm. I just kind of like laughed it off. Mm-hmm. And that was it. Mm-hmm. And we were like never really friends after that. I think you should talk to her. <clears throat> I absolutely do. Because she's still such a kind person. She is. We're friends on Facebook. Mm-hmm. We've messaged very briefly through the years. Mm-hmm. Um. I think the last time we talked, she had messaged me when Bo passed away. Mm. And, you know, that was it. But, like, I, she would have been my Caroline. Mm-hmm. And I was not, I was not kind to her. Mm-hmm. I wasn't direct, like, <clears throat> I, yeah, I just wasn't kind to her. Um, I, I really should have been a better friend. And I wasn't. And it makes me feel terrible. And I had kind of forgotten about it. I see. I related in reverse. I was the Caroline to numerous him. times. Mm-hmm. So I was relating to Caroline, um, especially, um, which happened later on in life. And yeah, um, you, it still affects me. I wish, so coming from the other standpoint, okay, I feel like I could do an incredible amount of healing if that person would come to me and say, you know what, what I did was really shitty. What I said to you was really fucked up. Yeah. It was really fucked up and I'm sorry. And I shouldn't have treated you that way. You've always been a great friend to me and I shouldn't have done that. And I feel like it's an easy thing to do but this person hasn't done it. Um, 
And so it's hard for me. I don't think to move forward. I don't think that person understands <laughs> what, and that's a whole other problem. <laughs> I don't, it is. Yeah. It is. They, I don't I think mean, that I'm person be honest, what they understands. did was, was really messed up. Like that's mean. real. That's really messed up. It was mean. I I know exactly yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah. And I just always wanted to be a good friend to everybody. Like I wanted people to know that they had a friend in me. So I was the person that like sometimes people would use me because they needed somebody. And I was okay with that for a very long time. Um, so anyway, yeah, I don't want to get too deep about it, but I got different feelings because I was the Caroline. Yeah. I was, I was the Cecilia Mm -hmm. in, in that scenario. Um, I know that I wasn't, there was never a confrontation, you know, yeah, there was and never then, a, so that's a little different because yeah, there was never a moment where I was mean to her, mm-hmm. but I could have stood up for her. Absolutely, yeah, you know, yeah, and I didn't. And but you were also in middle school, right? I mean, and that grade. and that's the thing. Like, also, you know, you look back and you you can, I can kind of step outside of myself. Mm-hmm. I was a child. We were children. We were children. Yeah. And I, I can go back and, and say all along, like I should have been a better friend. And I didn't have the, the, the knowledge. I didn't have the, I didn't have the life experience or the tools. Absolutely. To navigate that as a 11 year old. Brooke, can I just be honest with you? I, pr- I would have done the same thing. I mean, I and mean, that's and and I think that there are kids that that have like I I remember in middle school people being so mean to this one person mm-hmm. so incredibly mean it reminds me of the Joanne scenes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. now this and person guys, isn't a good person didn't end up being a good person well right and that's unfortunately a- but that's a whole other that's a whole other thing and then and i think i i can't even tell you how many times i've thought back and thought like what effect that her experience as a child Mm -hmm. oh for sure for sure brought for sure her you know brought her to the place that she is in now in her adult life but i can tell you that i can't remember who said it i think it was joanne that said this Mm -hmm. she said you didn't want to say anything because you were afraid that you were the one that was going to be next yes and she hit the nail on the head yes she did and you guys when you see the joanne part um i love her like i I absolutely adore her and i think oh my gosh she is such an incredibly strong person i wish i could get like tips from her yeah you know like yeah she's just such a she just seems like such a kind soul and it comes through in this in this it's crazy how it comes through in this film but yeah so you know i could i could also see myself in in cecilia in those moments because again i didn't i didn't stop it i didn't say anything and did i laugh i'm sure i laughed but I know that there was a point when I felt like this isn't okay. Oh yeah, for sure. But I still didn't say anything. Right. Because these, I didn't want. No, right. Yelling at me, telling everybody I had herpes. Exactly. Or lice or, you know, whatever. Right, I didn't right. want. That you didn't use soap. Right. That you didn't know what it was. Right. Like. I mean, really obviously, mean looking back at that, the people that were that headed up that stuff, they had some major effing issues. Like they had some things going on. Fuck yeah. That doesn't give them an excuse, though. A lot of people had a lot of things going on and they didn't do that. They weren't monsters. Right. You know? Right. But but it just it 
it just, you know, again, it, it, the film, there was a lot of pieces to it that I really, really connected with. And I think it was, she did a really great job of um, showcasing her experience, her thoughts of it now, working through all of those feelings Mm -hmm. and memories. Right. And in turn, I feel like it may help me to do that as well. That would be amazing, Brooke. I really hope that you do. Because like I said, coming from the other perspective, Mm -hmm. I don't know how she is going to take it. Um, But I could tell you that that would mean so much to me. It would mean so much to me for those people to say that to me and um but i like deep down i know i'm a good person and i know all i ever wanted to do was be a good friend right and um and that that's her loss but i want to forgive and i want to forget and i want to move on and i'm not able to do that and I want to with this person. I just want to move on. I just want to, you know, but I right. can't. I just can't because it just, yeah. And I well, think it was just worse probably because it happened when we were adults. And well, that's, and that's you know, the difference. Yeah. That's so. the difference because I mean, it happened. It happened in high school. It definitely happened in high school too because mm-hmm. we stopped hanging out in high school. But we were still like always connected. I thought I thought I was I was absolutely wrong, but I still thought we were always connected. And that like well, we I were thought the type so too. Of, we were the type of friends that like always came back to one another. Like and that we were always friends. Because like like her mom, like Caroline's mom. Like mm-hmm. I loved her mom. Yeah. Her dad and her family. And, um, yeah, so, oh, that's it. Yeah. Anyway, um, the, the part, one of the things I related to hard that I totally forgot about was when she was inserting herself into the cool girls. Yeah. Because I did that when I was in middle school and my, in eighth grade, do you know what I'm talking about? nope oh okay yes so like i kind of inserted myself into that and we became friends i thought i thought we were friends and i guess we kind of were like we kind of were like i've i've always kept yeah. up with like you know yeah um i just thought when we got to high school it was going to be like, I was going to be part of the crew and I for sure was not. Um, <laughs> yeah. I was like, what do they say? A flash in the pan. I don't know. What do they say? Flash in the pan. I don't know. A flash Hopefully in the pan. That's not like a bad thing to say. What's that mean? I don't know. Like I was like yesterday's news. Like, oh. you know, like, Oh, this, I mean, and I knew we were never like that close, but right. like, yeah. So, but one thing I will will say, you know what I related hard to? The Zima and the parliaments. <laughs> Same. This and that is that's exactly what made me think cuz she never outwardly says like when she graduated high school. Mm-hmm. We don't know what year she graduated, but I feel like it was pretty darn close to Absolutely. when we graduated. Absolutely. If I had to guess, I would say somewhere in the 95 to 98 range. Yeah. Yeah. Because those yeah. Zimas, that brought me right back. Where did you get them? Because I would like one right now, please. <laughs> With a Jolly Rancher. No, but like seriously, those Z- like Zima, that was my drink of choice. Same. When they came school. back like 10 years ago, yeah. whatever, I bought all the Zima. I was like, I love Zima. And then I drank it and I was like, maybe I don't like Zima. Wait a minute. Maybe not. <laughs> but I still drank it because it was like nostalgic, you know? Um, I remember bringing it. I went to Lori, my hairdressers. Again, mm-hmm. I said, my stylist. <laughs> so, I sound rich if I say stylist. <laughs> my, I don't know. She does my hair. 
Yeah. And um, we like did something. I was actually like with her and like the other people that work at her salon. And I brought Zemas with me. <laughs> and they, they, they were like, oh my God, I haven't had one of these in years. <laughs> so it's funny. They but used to be awesome. I, I can tell you right now that this was so just like, I feel like everybody needs to watch it. And I told Brynn, I was like, you absolutely need to watch this from start to finish. She was watching like little bits of it when I was watching it. Yeah. Um, Because I feel like it brought some like memories up that I can look at. And then I can look at her Mm -hmm. and see her growth and see how she's like dealt with this stuff Mm -hmm. and know that I can do it too. Like the biggest thing. That she was saying that I just, the, a memory that popped up was when she was telling, she was saying that she kept looking at herself in the mirror, like always looking at herself in the mirror. And like yes. her grandmother would say like, stop looking in the mirror. Like you're so vain or whatever. She's getting vain. Right. Yeah. Um, My mom or my dad would always say that to me. Um, And really what I was doing was I was looking at myself thinking about how ugly I was I wasn't actually looking at them you know that's that's what I thought but I look at myself and I was like you were not you were a cute kid like you were you know like 100%. I look at my and all I did it, and it, but it, I mean if you, this is deep guys but like how do you do that when you're constantly you're not the right it's like I wasn't born right it was like I was not the child that I feel that was wanted, you know, like they got, and they couldn't return me. So I got, they got the different model, you know, they got a different model and I was never thin enough. I mean, I don't think outwardly they, it was that generation. And I, yeah. and, and that's how I get through this. Like, it was never meant to be harmful, but it was so incredibly harmful because no, it was never meant to be harmful because like yeah. how many of us were on some fast diets in middle school, right? My hands raised, you know? Um, so, and how many of you guys were on some fast? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm sure there are a few of you and guess what? It worked like, mm-hmm. and, and, and that plays into, uh, that's a whole other episode. Yeah. But, but like it, it, it <sighs> I don't think I ever had anyone say to me, you're beautiful. You're pretty. I like, and I know my mom would fight me and say, how could you say that? Because you never said it. Like you never said, oh my God, you are so beautiful. You are such a beautiful person. Like I try to make sure I say that to Bryn because she is, you know, and Mm -hmm. I say it to Brody too. You're so handsome. Like, Mm -hmm. you know, I I just I want them to know it's because they are and I want them to know that absolutely and and feel that but like I never got that and then I went looking for it other places and that's a whole (laughs) (laughs) and that's where we get to my first boyfriend (laughs) god oh shit no yeah is there anything else you want to talk about the movie um, I I think it's important to recognize that another big part of this was how she um her family her she's Puerto Rican mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and that was a very unique experience for her right in where she was from and where she was growing up down in Florida yeah um and then you know the the town that she lived in the school she was at. She was definitely, um, it didn't sound like there were many like her in her, right. In her school girls that looked like her. Right. Um, so that was something I, I honestly can't relate to, but I know that we have people listening that could, and I'm sure, you know, hearing that part of her experience, um, and what she's taken from it and, you know, and there, and she has whole movies mm-hmm. um, that she shares of her and her family during holidays, and mm-hmm. um, I think that I'm sure uh, people will certainly relate to that. 
Absolutely. And it's important to mention because it's a big part of it too. And one of the home videos, I think it was Caroline's mom's home videos. Yes. Caroline is making a t-shirt that says nuke kids on the block. She did not like new kids because she, she had NPOTB not. with a cross. <laughs> like, yes. Nope, with like, no, nope, nope. like, like a, don't do drugs. Like a, like a, like a circle, you know, with, a circle a slash. with a slash. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so no, she was not a fan. No, no. And I love Caroline. Like, yeah, me too. Yeah. Me too. And I will say the actress that they found. Oh my God. She was perfect. She was perfect. She was I perfect. I felt like I knew Caroline. Through her. Through her. Or through her interpretation of her. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. It was a really, really good film. I think it's worth the watch. Um, it also made me realize my so-called life gave me a lot of false hope. Same. Like we all thought same. we were going to find our Jordan Catalano. Right. I mean, I found my Jordan Catalano, but he's not really. He... No, but like she, like she said, what was it about Jordan Catalano? Oh, was Kevin it, just you know, took it, the earpiece off. I was, was it like, the I hair? Found, I said I found my Jordan Catalano, and he took the earpiece off, and I and then I said, "But you can read." <laughs> <laughs> oh God! But yeah, you guys, there's a little section where she talks about Jordan Catalano and like what kind of hold he had it's on all of amazing. us. Amazing! Oh my and, God, so relatable. And there's a little reenactment in there that you there need is. to see. Absolutely, absolutely, it was, awesome. it was so good. All so. right, so in wrapping this up, Brooke, I would like to know two, and you don't have to like go into detail, but like one to two scenes that you would, if if this were your documentary, that would definitely make it in. Okay. If this were my documentary, mm-hmm. I will tell you one scene that would 100% make it in. Okay. Would be taking the pictures that we would take oh my god (laughs) to study hall for our crushes to look at Uh uh-huh that would absolutely be one that's so embarrassing 100 percent. i would literally take pictures be like oh my crush is gonna see this Mm -hmm. so i take pictures and then bring them to one hour photo yep and then give them to brooke and she would take them to study hall before lunch so that they could see the pictures because mm-hmm. i would have them out and i'd be looking at them and they'd be like oh what are those you cut some pictures you can bring see? them in weren't they like oh this is funny that she keeps bringing in photos <laughs> nope <laughs> no not at all we never thought about that's that. what we do we took we take pictures we took a lot of pictures we did we took a lot of pictures yeah so you know that's that was just that was life in the 90s it was. We didn't have phones. There wasn't an Instagram. That was our Instagram. It was. We wanted everybody to see our pictures, but we couldn't. When I found out, when I when when social media became a thing, I was like, this is what I've always wanted. I'm so glad we didn't have it, though. Oh, my God. Thank God. Can because you imagine? Post- no, I would never get a job. I would have been at the University of Maine taking pictures. Look at me. <laughs> Would have been in high school taking pictures. I'm talking about freshman year. Oh, that. (laughs) Yeah, that. Oh, God. Yeah, that was bad. Again, why are we not dead? Right. Go back and listen to that episode. I think we need to listen to that episode and then do another one and talk about other reasons why we should be dead. Oh, God. Um, But awful. Okay. What other? What else? What else? Okay. So I would definitely do that one. Okay. And if I were to reenact another, um, I think I would probably reenact. It would be really fun to reenact um, when we went to, oh, this is a hard one. This is like a two. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. So. It would be it would be really fun to reenact when you and I went to New Jersey with my family. We Absolutely, I had that I had that written down. Yes, and we were in the line mm-hmm. 
with but, the Eminem guy. But the Eminem guy. Who we've never found, guys. We no. posted the picture, but we never found him. We should post it again. We should we put should. it on TikTok. We should. Oh, my gosh. We should totally put it on TikTok. We'll find him on TikTok. Yes. We need to Somebody find him. Somebody knows him. Um, or oh, it would that's be. that's Bruce. <laughs> Hello, Bruce. <laughs> Works in the tractor supply. Oh, oh my God. Bruce kind of looked like Matthew Lillard. A little bit, yeah. Um, or it would be when me and Darcy were in Old Orchard, mm-hmm. and we—that's <gasps> a good one. That's a good one. The dude, Ding. the guy. Ding. Oh wait, no, that's a different one. Like oh, that one's different. <laughs> Should I leave that in or take it out? Yeah, that's a good one too. Ding. That was me and Jody. You guys know what we say when we say peen, right? I mean, I would think that they would know that. Did you just see my face when you said that? Yes, I did. I'm like, uh, yes. Do you know what I say when I see like those? No offense to anybody who has a big truck, because there's some people who just really like I big trucks. I thought you were going to say something else. No offense to anyone that has a big. <laughs> but I always, but Kevin and I have decided that they should have a license plate that says a little peen. Because <laughs> it fits. <laughs> Lil Peen. I like it. Does fit. E-E-E-N. Seven characters. <laughs> Lil Peen. <laughs> um, oh, God. That's no. like, those are both. Those. Okay, so what's the first Old Archer one? Because I don't think so, I know that. There's one where, uh, okay, so it would be when Darcy and I, it was, we were, we went down with my family to Old mm-hmm. Orchard for like mm-hmm. a couple nights. We slept in the van. Mm hmm. There wasn't room in the hotel room, so what we slept happened? in the van. The lights went out. Oh, okay. Um, because it's eleven and thirty. Maybe when the lights go <laughs> out. And we would walk around the downtown area by the pier mm-hmm. like all night long. And we would just on this particular night, we met two very random guys. And they were it was just it's like when she said that things for her, her it's her bad memories that kind of freeze in her brain. Mm-hmm. It's like they're there. They're like hard as a diamond. Mm-hmm. These are, it's just, this is just one of those memories that is just there. And it's not a bad memory. Mm-hmm. I have a lot of really good memories that are, that are kind of frozen in my brain. Um, But I don't know. We were just walking around thinking that we were, older than we were you know talking to dudes that were definitely older than we were just about nothing like oh you went to that concert fuck it i missed it like i can still look at darcy and say fuck it i missed it she knows exactly what i'm talking about that's funny what concert did you go to cracker oh my god that's right (laughs) it was it was spin doctors but cracker opened up for them Mm mm-hmm And I was wearing a Cracker t-shirt from the concert. Mm -hmm. And then this random guy with like dreadlocks, like, like saunters up. He's like, oh, did you guys go to that concert? And we were (laughs) like, yeah. (laughs) Fuck it. I missed it. And he was, and he like grabbed his face weird and he was like, fuck it. I missed it. (laughs) Kind of like the guy from um, the freshman from Days and Confused. You yes. know, he'd grab his nose. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. It was like kind of like that. That would bug me. And but then because I've watched that movie a lot. Yeah, same. But I did love that movie. I still love that movie. Yeah, same. So I would reenact like that night. Mm-hmm. It was it was fun. I and stupid. Mm-hmm. But it's just mm-hmm. in my in my brain. But also that the New Jersey guy, the mm-hmm. Eminem guy. We got to find him on TikTok. What would be yours? I've got quite a few, but um, I probably would reenact something where I keep planning a basketball tournament at my house. Absolutely, you should. <laughs> that never 100%. came to fruition. Like never came. <laughs> but I would. I would. I think we had one once. You did. I know you did. Okay, but I think that it was it fizzled quickly. I used it to pick up guys. Like I thought it. Like, <laughs> hey, that's. That's how I got my husband. So it works. (laughs) 
It's like, hey, you want to play basketball sometime? Hold on. Let me get my in sync phone book and put your name and number in it. I still have it. Um, so yeah, something about like a basketball tournament. Um, I think another one would be when I hid uh to my closet. Yes. <laughs> Beverly, we have a situation. <laughs> we have a situation. So, yeah, you, I, I know we've talked about this before, but like we can say, Beverly, <laughs> Beverly, we have a situation. We can't even say it without laughing because, no, you guys, he was in my closet. My dad was like, "Well, I think he's learned his lesson. <laughs> he was in that closet. I wouldn't want to put anybody in there <laughs> because of your shoes. My shoes smell like trash." Like literal trash. They smelt like trash. I remember Brooke going, Why do I keep smelling trash? And I was like, Oh, I don't know. Oh, probably because my samba smelt like trash. Gross. So so I have to tell you, Sadie's soccer cleats. Yeah. I, same. Same smell. Yep. Trash. Yeah. Like kind of like cat pee a little bit too. It smells like yes, yes. Yeah. It's a little smells, bit of cat pee, a little it bit smells of smells like trash piss and dead rat all yep. in one. Oh yeah dead rat that's that's a good one yeah all in one it's yep. disgusting absolutely absolutely and like you can't get it out no they just i had to buy new ones yeah i um i feel like i put like something like cornstarch <laughs> like i put cornstarch <laughs> and it like balled up and like kind of created like a dough <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> Somebody told me to put cornstarch in my shoes and it like didn't. And then I put, I think you're supposed to just put the cornstarch in them like overnight, then take the cornstarch out. When I put it in yes, my shoes. You put them in and you put. What's wrong with me? <laughs> and then I couldn't wear them again. <laughs> oh, God. I was making, I was making bread in those things. Yeah. Oh, I was just going to say. Trash bread. <laughs> Trash bread. <laughs> Thumb oh god so that and um probably the phone call probably the phone call i got from a particular person and i was so excited that he was calling me to get my friend's number yep and then um one of the big ones would be and this this like moment like plays out in my head i can remember just like you said like i think about it Every once in a while, it comes across my mind, but I was over with my, I thought he was my best friend at the time, but maybe we weren't best friends, but I mean, I liked him more than a friend, obviously. I had a huge crush yes. on him. Yes, I know exactly um, what you're talking about. And we were playing basketball in his driveway, and I was trying to get up the nerve to ask him to go to the eighth grade dance because I really, I wanted to like take our relationship to the next level. <laughs> And you yeah. guys, he like got a rebound, put the ball underneath his armpit, and he goes, So I think I'm gonna ask Katie to the dance tonight. And like the feeling that came over me. I tried to like act like I was okay, but right. I wasn't. I was it was like he told me, like, I don't know. I, I I don't even know. It was so devastating. And I tried to keep it together. But I was like crying. <laughs> and like I yeah. I like was like, oh I think I think my ankle hurts. I think I can go home. <laughs> and I oh. rode my bike all the way home, tears streaming down my face, like snot coming down. Like crying because it's like funny when you think about it now it's not really funny but you gotta laugh at it right um and then everything turned out fine but everything yeah everything turned out fine it's just like it's like it was the one time i really thought possibly things were oops that was my mic (laughs) um that things were like going somewhere and like they were not going yeah anywhere but it was not at all what you thought i could never I mean, maybe I could. Maybe I could with him. Because he had to know. He had to know that I liked him a lot. 
He had to know. He may not have. I think he well, did, and that was his way of like, yeah, it's never going to happen. You know? But then after that, I don't think we hung out anymore. I think that after that, it was just done. Which is kind of sad. Because we were really good friends. You are really good friends. You were very close. And yeah, because he would like talk to me about, I felt like I could talk to him about everything. Like, and he, he liked some of the, some geeky stuff and I liked geeky stuff. And I could tell him about like the computer geeky stuff that I liked. And he was like truly interested in listening to me talk about it. Yes. Cause he was a geek. Yeah. Yeah. He liked the but civil like, war. <laughs> yes. They would debate about it. Oh my God. You guys have debates at lunch. Yes. There were three of them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There were three of these guys mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and they would sit at the lunch table and they would debate about the wars history u.s Absolutely. history yep and i remember my eighth grade brain was like i first i didn't know what they were talking about same i was never a history person no especially as a 13 year old 14 year old right and what were they debating like I don't know what were what were they actually debating like facts. I have no fucking idea. <laughs> I think it was like facts. Like I think it was that who knew the most amount of information. Probably. I mean that would make sense because yeah. I I don't think they were like oh were... so and so should have won. No 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 no. It I wasn't they, like that. It was like no that's not right. It's actually da da da. And then they'd have to go to like the library or something and like look at right, it. Like, like oh I was right. This is the first person that to right. pull a draw. Right. <laughs> right no it was on this rock <laughs> like I don't... when we went to gettysburg that's all i could think about how proud they would be of me <laughs> being at gettysburg i wanted to post i literally wanted i i wanted to post on facebook and tag mm-hmm. i just bleep that out in the post to be like i made it let's let's debate <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh so yeah so that's oh. it um i'm sure there's more but i mean there's a lot more but we don't yeah. we also don't want to give away what happens right, and, and what right. and, and the we don't want to do a rundown we want you guys to go watch this right this so. was supposed to be a quick episode but guess what it was this episode was healing for both of us yes it was i feel like it was really healing and i feel like this this film was very healing it was and i think it will continue to be yes we're all a work in progress here we are absolutely so um so the film again yes it's called you were my first boyfriend Mm -hmm. it is um it's out on hbo and you can stream it on max Mm -hmm. and uh we are going to post a link to the trailer on our website absolutely Actually, is it is the trailer on YouTube? It is. I think we could just post the trailer on our website. That's what I just said. Oh, I thought you said a link to the trailer. Oh, well, I think that I, I, yeah, I meant. Okay. okay. <laughs> we posted on our website. <laughs> okay. I was like, okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> real quick off topic topic. Mm-hmm. Um, We did get new kids tickets. Oh, yes, we did. We did. We didn't get the front row, but that's okay. It's fine because we took on another show. It is fine. Absolutely. So, Brooke and I are going to Hartford. Yep. We have five star. Yep. Um, Bryn and I are going to New Hampshire and we have five star. And if you know anyone that's going there and has a group and has a Donnie spot, I mean, ideally, Bryn and I would love to be together with Donnie, but just as long as she is i don't care who i stand with yeah i really don't i like them all so um and then we are going brooke and i and some friends are going to mansfield mansfield yes massachusetts where we saw yep. nsync um the very first time and they were so far away that we couldn't see them they were like like well like, we were little, on the little, lawn little men we were on the lawn yeah and like people have brought chairs, I feel like. 
And we were like, oh, maybe, maybe we should have brought chairs. I feel like that was like a thing. That but. was a thing. But we were so young. We were. We had no idea. We were just like, we're going to see Insane. We're going to see Insane. Yeah. So I have pictures of that show somewhere. I do. I just came across them. They're in. Did you my... really? Yes, I did. I just <gasps> came across them. They are from. So you guys, we went to this concert. And when we got back, I was working at the Sunglass Hut. And this woman stopped by. And we got to talking. And she was at the same concert. Oh, that's right. And she was like, oh, my gosh, let me get you. Let me give you my doubles. I'll go. I'll go do it right now. I'll go get you. And, and this woman, I didn't even know. Gave me the, I was like, you are the best. Thank you so much. So fans we got helping fans. amazing pictures and I put them all on an album. Pictures I didn't take and pictures that I wasn't that close. Right, right. And and neither were they. So maybe we post a picture of the stage of Jordan Knight on stage. Um, and you can see how far away they are and then think, oh, Nikki and Brooke were even further than that. Okay. Because <laughs> they were like in the middle. Yeah. And we were like in the way back. Like we were way back. Way then. back, Jack. So, um, yeah. So we are going there. We can't wait to see you guys. I yeah. want to see you guys. I wish it so, were summer already. I know. I don't want to wish time away because that means like Brent graduate high school. Same. I'm really trying not to wish this year away. Like, um, I like I really want to wish winter away, but we're gonna get through it and it's gonna be amazing. Right. So yeah. So, so that's it. Thank you so much, you guys. Yes, thank you guys. We love you. Yes, we love you. Go watch this film. Yeah. And then let us know uh what scenes from your life you would reenact. Yeah. Today. Yeah. I would love to do an episode on that. That'd be I so really, fun. really would. So you can even leave us a voicemail. Oh, that would be a, that mm, I love that. And then we can we can like talk about it yeah you guys can you do that can you leave us a voicemail and then brooke and i will listen to it and then we'll play it back and then talk about it and you could do like two three scenes i don't care like have at it so our number is not 1-800-876-5353 that's the only number that's coming in my head right now oh god that's (laughs) unsolved mysteries (laughs) one wait it's eight Two seven one four seven one five five two two. I don't know. No, that's not it. That is not it. No, that's not it. <laughs> okay, that was a journey because we forgot our phone number. It is one. Well, you don't. Yeah, whatever. Um, eight five seven two seven one one zero four seven. Yeah, that's our number. So again, eight five seven two seven one one zero four seven. We would love you guys to do that. Please, you can be, be anonymous so too fun. if you want to. Yeah, totally. I can. I think I could change your voice. You so guys, thank you guys. We real. really appreciate it. We really do. Yes. And uh, we might not see you next week, and we might not see you the week after that, just because Brooke's going to be gone. But we'll be back on track because we really are excited to do a blog party. Yes, we are. So it is high time. Yeah, I think actually maybe we could record next week though, because you're not going to be gone. We. I will. I leave a week from tomorrow. Yeah, so we could we could do next week. We could record. We could probably, next yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think so. Yeah. But so, it'll probably be the week after. Yeah, like Thanksgiving week. Right, 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 right. Okay. okay. So uh, thanks, guys. We will be loving you for loving you forever. Bye. Bye.